Alright, so, uh, you could probably tell by the video I'm going to be setting this up as good, the bad, and the ugly. So, let's start with the good. The, the best part of the school is the labs. There are probably five or six good labs where you're doing stuff at your workbench. The first class, they teach you how to set up a good workbench. And then they send you materials. There's a muzzle loader lab. Most people get an AR-15 lab. There's a Kydex lab. There's actually two muzzle loader labs. Um, and then there's several others. Uh, it would have been nice to have a reloading lab, but I can imagine there'd be a lot of liability in that. But that was definitely, I think, hands down the best part of SDI. Is even though it's remote and online and asynchronous. You're still doing a lot of hands-on stuff, which is really important with gunsmithing. Uh, and as an extension of that, they send you all the tools you need. Not not all the tools, but a lot of them. So, like, they send you good punches. They send you Grace USA punches, which are the best. They send you Grace screwdrivers, which are awesome. They send you a full file set. They send you chisels. They send you browning solution, they send you wood finishing stuff, all sorts of tools that will really fill in your your toolbox. And I really appreciate that. That's really great. And it's all included in the tuition and you never pay a dime extra for anything and stuff just shows up at your door before your class begins. And that's awesome. Uh, Another good thing is that it's a really good crash course. You could come into this knowing next to nothing about guns, maybe not even the difference between a rifle and a shotgun, and you can come out and you can have a really solid understanding and be able to hold a good conversation with someone else who is very knowledgeable about this stuff. So they really start you at the basics, which for some people, like myself, who had a good background knowledge, but for some people, who are interested in maybe thinking about firearms and gunsmithing, coming in not really knowing anything, they really hold your hand for the first few classes. So that is good. But if, if you're ready for the deeper stuff, just, just wait a little while. Um, and then another, while we're on the topic of the classes, the business classes are invaluable. There are, I believe, five business-related classes, um, everything from like back accounting and business math all the way through to business management and like people skills and whatnot. I hated them at first, but then when I realized like SDI wants you to be a successful gunsmith business runner because gunsmithing is still a business. So you still need to know how to run a business and they don't want to just give you these skills and then leave you high and dry when it comes time to utilizing them. So they do a really good job and some of the classes are really, really good. Um, and it, with those, it's all about how much of the reading you want to do, how much extra research you want to do, and they're just a really good gateway into a solid understanding of business as well as economics. Um, and then another thing that they don't really advertise a whole lot, and I think that's a good thing, but I'm going to come out and say it, is the discounts. Once you, I was like a week or two out from graduating SDI, and I got an email that said I'd get industry discounts. So SDI has a partnership program where they team up with various um, companies in the firearms industry to basically provide all of their current students and all of their graduates, so their alumni, um, with discounts. And it's all sorts of different companies. Uh, you don't have like Midway and Brownells on there, unfortunately, but you have a lot of like 10% off magazines, 15% off these gunsmithing tools. You have uh, stuff for holsters, stuff for um, not really any reloading stuff, unfortunately. Uh, they're still filling in the blanks. They're always growing it. But like some, some they've partnered with some gun stores that you can just buy any gun in their inventory for like 20% off. And... I think the best one in there, there, there's two really good ones. One is a, it's like a company designed for firearms business stuff. They help you set up a firearms business and they give you a huge discount off of a package for that. And then the other one is 
they just casually threw in a Vortex Optics discount. It's 50% off Vortex Optics. Anything in the store for current students. Right? Um, and then also, there's a lot of support for postgraduates. Um, there is a whole LinkedIn thing going on. And I've also been getting texts and emails from uh, like career services and they just want to make sure that I have a job and that if and when I want to get a job in the firearms industry, they want to help me and they have lots of connections with various FFLs. So it, they really do want you to be successful. Um, the instructors are great. Um, there was only maybe one instructor that I thought wasn't knowledgeable enough on the subject. I can't really remember what class it was for, but I mean, sometimes I would ask someone a really obscure question in the class and I'm like, there's no way this person is going to be able to help me. And then they come out with some knowledge that is just like, how does, how does this person know this? Like it's not in any books. It's not on YouTube. It's nowhere on the internet. And you know that <clears throat> the vast majority of these firearms gunsmithing instructors are gunsmiths and they've been doing this for years and they know how to checker and they know how to blue and they know how to make a stock. Uh, it's, it's super good. Oh, also checkering big plus learning how to checker uh, is it's hard to find a place that will teach you to gen genuinely teach you how to checker. Um, the other thing is all of the textbooks are free. All of the textbook, the mo most of the textbooks are online. Um, and you can download them and you can print them as PDFs. And then a few of the electives send you the textbooks and they're all free. You're never paying extra for textbooks. I didn't spend a dime other than tools that I didn't have that they didn't send me that they then told me, Hey, you need to get a brass hammer. Actually, they might've sent me this one. I don't know. Um, but like, hey, you need this one little tool or like this special kind of tape at Staples or whatever, go get it. They tell you weeks in advance. Um, but yeah, having all the books, like I have like 30 firearms textbooks downloaded on my computer now. That's invaluable. Other schools, any other university I've ever heard of doesn't do that. So again, they want you to succeed. They're giving you as much as they can for the money. Um, so that's the majority of the good that I want to get into now. Obviously, we can go more and more in depth. Um, so let's get into the bad. And speaking of depth, that's, that's the first bad I have listed. Um, a lot of the courses do lack depth because it is designed to take someone who knows next to nothing about guns, bring them up to speed, and really give them the first several steps in becoming a gunsmith. Uh, a lot of the courses are very, very entry level. Um, and a lot of the more in-depth courses that you get into later, they're, they're not deep enough, I would say. Uh, I think there needs to be a new, another program that throws on another $5,000 for the tuition so that they have the budget to have another few classes that go more in depth and really, really, really talk about niche things and really these should be electives so that you can choose to take them or not like have a really high level stock making course that teaches you how to do ebony that teaches you all different types of finishing how to do stock inlays and stuff like that that not everyone wants to know and it costs a lot to really put together a class like that um and there should be like 1911 smithing classes and Glock smithing classes. And these get brought up a lot, these specific guns, but we're never really told how to get a 1911 to feed properly, which is a really big issue for a lot of gunsmiths, uh, getting a 1911 to feed properly. Um, so it would be nice if we had that kind of thing. <sighs> there are also time wasting classes, uh, kind of just filler stuff for SDI to get accredited, really, for them to be a legitimate college. You need to have an English class. You need to have a math class. You need to have a psychology class. Um, and that's just unfortunate, but just know that going in of 
there was one or two times where I didn't have any gunsmithing classes going on. And it was just filler classes so that they could get accredited. And that was, that was kind of a bummer. Um, but it is necessary if you want to go to a legitimate school. Because SDI, even though they're new kids on the block, even though they only offer one or two majors, they are le a legitimate college. And they need to be accredited. So just know that going forward. Uh, there needs to be more labs. Because the labs are the best part of this. The worst part of this is that there's not enough labs. And I would say another two good labs would really just make a huge difference. I don't know what they would be. Um, maybe a lab could be getting a 1911 to feed. Um, I also missed out on a lab because I'm in Massachusetts and they don't do the AR-15 labs um, for Massachusetts residents, which is kind of annoying because they're not as illegal here as everyone wants you to think. Um, so that, that would be nice, getting another couple labs just because more hands-on time, more in-depth stuff. Maybe they could send you a damaged stock and have you repair a damaged stock. Because I need to do a lot of that these days. Um, and then a wider variety of things. Uh, I would have liked to have more classes on doing different types of finishing. They do, the Duracoat lab is great and the browning lab is great but those are two extremes of the spectrum those are very very antiquated and then very very modern systems for finishing guns we need like in-depth bluing classes and we need in-depth parkerizing classes um and stuff like that and then they need to up their reloading game i was really i was honestly expecting because there's like two or three reloading classes i was honestly expecting to get a reloading press and some dies in the mail and like load some nine millimeter or 308 or something. So I'm a little bit bummed that there are just definitely some gaps and some areas that don't get explored that I've been exploring on my own and I'm fascinated with, with different parts of the firearms world. So, um, really, I, I would just like them to explore that stuff a little more. Um, and there are some other things that I don't want to get into with the general bad um, that are pretty apparent when once you're in it. They're small things. They're not, like, game changers. They're not deal breakers. But they're there. Um, the ugly. There are... I have, I have two things that I think are ugly, that I think are not good, that the school is doing or has done. Very big issues that I have had. Um, stuff that's not bad about the school, but just, like... Why is this going on? This shouldn't be happening. So the first one, um, about a year ago, they switched their software program um, over to Canvas LMS. And there were a lot of hiccups there. Nobody knew what they were doing. And I submitted an assignment, and it was like a big lab or something. And it just straight up did not get graded. And they gave me a zero. And I, I tried very hard to get this thing submitted and they just they were not working with me um the professor basically just told me to go to student services and i emailed student services and called them several times and just never got a response and the professor couldn't care less um and i got a zero on a lab and that was that was really really annoying because the labs are the most important part of this and I didn't get any feedback on that lab. So now I'm not knowing if there's something that I'm doing wrong that they could have corrected me on. I really am not a fan of that. But that only happened once, and I don't think it will ever happen again. Uh, because now everything is smooth and up and running on this newer platform. The other thing I don't like is that you have to post your discussion board topics on Wednesday. So stuff gets assigned on Monday. And then you need to post your discussion board post on Wednesday. So you need to basically do all of your reading for the week before Wednesday. And then do any additional reading that they require you. Oh, and that's another thing. Some instructors, they'll give you your reading. And then they'll assign additional reading. They'll, like, sneak it in in the assignments. You basically have to double your reading. 
and it's just like useless stuff that it it really you, you it assign the reading in the textbook and then assign the assignments on the reading they a lot of professors don't really do that and it was very very frustrating um but yeah so posting having to just post your discussion board post on wednesday versus it was originally thursday it used to be thursday you lose a day for reading, and then after you do the reading when it's fresh in your mind, I also feel the need to do the assignments, because I'm not going to do the reading and then do the assignments like five days later, because I won't remember anything that I just read. So basically, it's you have to have 90% of your work done, if you're doing it like that, by Wednesday, after it's getting assigned on Monday. So when you have three classes, you basically need to complete a class a day and do everything other than the discussion board responses before Wednesday, or before Thursday, really. Um, and that was just like, why? It's not necessary. So, and they changed it. It was originally Thursday, and Thursday worked just fine. So that is, I think, the good and the bad and the ugly. And I would say in conclusion, for the money, it's really, really good. It's really, really hard to beat. It's a very friendly, easy school to go into. It is not scary, it's not hard, and it is not expensive either. For a two-year, it is very, very affordable. What's the matter? I'm working on uh, doing some of them. Oh. All right. Did you have fun last night? Yeah.